Remember the recounts I mentioned that Donald Trump had available to him in Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. Estimates are that would have cost a little bit under $20 million to request. And the evidence makes clear that he had raised about $200 million during that time. He would have had to pay less than one-tenth, a dime on the dollar of the money that he had raised to have to go through the legal recourse of getting recounts in these states, which had all paper ballots and were ready to do it, were waiting for him to do mm -hmm. it. He didn't spend a dollar on that. They keep saying there's going to be lawsuits brought. Every, you, know, you can't go a week without hearing my pillow guy say there's going to be a lawsuit that's filed that's going to you know, just be mind-blowing. Right. We haven't seen those lawsuits. You know, we're, still, we'll st we're still hearing about these lawsuits that are going to be filed at any point in time, the defamation lawsuits from certain candidates. Trump will be reinstated. Yeah, the reinstatement, which you know, even some of the election denier supporting legislators have had to make clear in states like Wisconsin, There's that's no not a thing. Right. You know, um, you, we, we, we can't reinstate someone who lost the election. There were electoral vote slates that were certified, that were delivered by law to the National Archives and had no competing slates that were certified. And they were counted appropriately in a, in a joint session presided over by the losing vice presidential candidate and the sitting vice president. Um, and still, you know, the, the, the degree to which that this grift continues and targets, I mean, they're not targeting Biden voters with this. They're not buying it. They're targeting the sincerely disappointed supporters of the former president. They're the ultimate, as, as Major pointed at quoting Patrick Byrne, they're the ones who are getting fleeced. And they are. And, and on this one other point about the recounts never undertaken. Yes, you have to pay, but as, it, as importantly, you have to accept the results. You have to pay and accept the results. Former President Trump never paid because he would have had to accept the results. And if you accept the results, you take three states off the map and this ends. And that was within his rights, clearly within his financial ability, and clearly would have been consistent with the pledges he was making to those from whom he was raising money. And across the board, I didn't create those facts. David Becker didn't create those facts. Former President Trump created all of those facts. 